Good. Been on the phone almost all morning this morning with uh, updates on the uh, both the LA and the Palisade City streets. And let's see, do we have a quorum yet? We've got Elliot, Manuel, Susie, and me. That's four. How many do we need for a quorum? Five. Okay. And then we also have, I can tell, uh, someone here from CD11. And I don't know why we are showing some folks uh, waiting to get in because we had let everybody in, but here, let's just do this again. What is CD11? Who, who do we have here from CD11? That's no, Bonham's oh, district, isn't wait a minute. it? They're, they're muted. Let's let's see if we can unmute. There's Sean. Good morning, Sean. Okay, I cannot unmute CD11. They have to uh, they have to unmute themselves. It's not allowing me to. Well, here, let's try this. Yeah, see, I unmuted everybody, and there's some people who still have their mute on. So uh, we have somebody from CD11, but I don't know that they can actually uh, hear. Stacy, I, uh, I, I think them. that's the councilman's district. Right. I, no, I do know that's the councilman's district. I, okay. I just uh, don't know if if they uh, if they have their mute on. Um, okay. It looks like. Well, Grace has now joined us as well. All right, so let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five people. Grace. Good morning, Grace. Good morning. And uh, don't understand why not having any luck unmuting or recognizing CD11. We know that they're here. Uh, it's now 9.30, so we're going to go ahead and start our meeting. Um, as I promised, we're going to try and get things done as, as quickly as we can. Uh, Dave Peterson was on at 8.30 this morning, I think, but um, I'm ass assuming he'll be back any second. Uh, nonetheless, we're going to welcome everybody here. And the first thing uh, that we're going to do before public comment is, um, okay, no, wait a minute, we've got somebody else here. Who else? Somebody else just tapped in. Okay. Um, before we open things up uh, for public comment, I want to give you uh, uh, some information to say that the uh, that we're in strange times right now is an understatement. Uh, as all of our businesses and, of course, the bid have been preparing for the reopening and recovering and rebooting of business in Pacific Palisades and the LA area, unfortunately, the latest civil disobedience, uh, which is being used by a smokescreen for many who want to commit criminal acts and property damage has put any consideration of us opening on hold uh, for the immediate future. I cannot tell you what the immediate future is. Um, we have a very, very simple meeting today. We want to update all of our board members. Uh, we want to ratify our 2019 fiscal year audited statement and, uh, and give you a little update also on the renewal. Now, for your ears, I have a statement that is completely off the record, okay? And I have been asked to make this as an off the record uh, statement. Today is a crucial day in the areas around LA. Again, this is off the record. So I know that we do have someone from press here. This is not available for the press. Today is a crucial day in the areas around LA. Current law enforcement and security intelligence has identified a variety of criminal groups that utilize peaceful protesters as a smokescreen for them to loot businesses and promote violence. Unfortunately, Beverly Hills, Brentwood, and Pacific Palisades are condensed residential communities. And all business areas are small business areas. The residential areas provide interesting opportunities to those wanting to commit crime. After speaking with security professionals and law enforcement this morning, I have been told that LAPD and National Guard are fully aware of the situation and prepared to fully deploy in and around these areas 
and protect them based upon whatever up-to-date intelligence they receive from the unrest. And the purpose of this statement is to let you know that there is a lot more out there than what is visible to us uh, from a protection standpoint and unfortunately also from a, um, uh, a criminal element. But uh, knowing what I know about LAPD and knowing what I know about the National Guard and their performance in the last 48 hours, I feel very, very confident that uh, we should be uh, safe. And, and that will end my off the record statement. And we will open it up first to public comment and then to comment of our members. So for any members of the public, do we have any comments at all? We're showing only two members of the public here. Rick, uh, it's Sue Pasco. I would like to just make a comment. Okay, go ahead. Just so you know, I, 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 what you said was off the record, but I've already been up town today. I've already talked to the police. I've already talked to security guards. They've already told me that there's a lot of um, intelligence going around that there could be something this afternoon at three. So I just want you to know that what you said is off the record, but what I've gleaned is from other sources. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I just want to make sure none of it's uh, attributed to me. Again, um, believe it or not, I, and I don't know how they're going to pull this off. Uh, we have been notified of three different areas all at least 20 to 25 miles from each other, where three o'clock is the witching hour, so to speak. So uh, we'll see uh, we'll see how that shapes up and, and of course, uh, hope for the best. I will tell you this, and we've been very, very fortunate. In Glendale, the threats were unbelievably high starting at 7 a.m. Sunday morning. And knock on wood and thank the police department and everybody else, we have been extremely fortunate that there have been no, knock on wood, no issues whatsoever in, uh, in the Glendale area. And I believe that our law enforcement is going to do a great job uh, here as well. Uh, thank you for your comments, Sue. Uh, we only have one other member, I believe, of the public here, though... And I will apologize that I don't have a great memory. I see there is somebody Pardon? by the name of H. Terrazon with us. That's Hilda from Topa. Ah, okay. Thank yeah. you. Oh, hi, Hilda. How are you? Um, um, thank you very much for uh, helping me out. I'm an old man with a bad memory. Um, and uh, anyway, um, is there any other member of the public that would like to speak? Hearing none, we will close public comment. Hey, David, and you made it. Just a minute. There was somebody started to talk, and Oliver oh. started to talk. Who? Looks like Oliver Sitter. Oliver oh, Sitter that's looks my, to me that's, to be. That that's, looks my to me. Grand, that's my grandson who does homeschooling many, several days of the week uh, on my computer. And you didn't give him off today just so you could be in this meeting, did you? No, he's he's at his house today. We're getting a break. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> all right. So uh, I, I try not, to change. I try to put my own name on, and I can't. I can't. Nah, he can do it. Nine years old. He puts <laughs> virtual backgrounds, and I, every time I try to do something myself, it's destroyed, and my kids have to come over and fix it. Um, so now we're going to open things up to any uh, comments by our board members. Okay, hearing none, uh, we're going to go forward then and uh, ask for us, for those of us that were here, to review the minutes of our May 6th, uh, 2020 meeting and uh, look for a motion to approve. I will so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. I'll second. I'll second. We have we have Lee there seconding. Oh, hi, Lee, Lee. And yeah. Elliot was making the motion. Um, and we have a motion and a second. And uh, is there any discussion? 
Okay, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? And any abstentions? Okay, motion passes. Um, going to give you uh, a little bit of an update. Uh, this is uh, just a, a follow up to our uh, May meeting. The uh, RFP that we discussed uh, for um, uh, extended services and uh, asset uh, acquisition and all that RFP is out and we're in process of uh, waiting for response and reply. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm looking at the list here. I know that uh, Marco was gonna try and join us, but he was supposed to be in between uh, airline connections and it doesn't look like he's joined us yet. Uh, but uh, as, as you know, from reviewing the main meeting notes, uh, we have decided to go out for RFP uh, for the um, uh, acquisition, storage, and um, installation of uh, holiday decor and things that'll brighten up the neighborhood a little bit. That being said, um, we do not have to uh, respond quickly to an RFP. We will let everybody know the minute that we get their their uh, request or the minute we get their proposal, we'll let everybody know that we are uh, marking time in the short term, uh, waiting to see uh, how things are going to progress here in the city. Next, I'm going to turn things over to Manuel, uh, who has our 2019 uh, fiscal year audited financial statements and tax return, excuse me, tax returns. So Manuel, the floor is yours. Okay, um, I, I guess I could share my screen to open the financials if you'd like to review them uh, page by page, or, or we can just, um, since they were already sent electronically, we could just answer some questions that anybody might have. Where do you get your haircut? <laughs> I, I, I actually cut my own hair with a machine from Costco. Uh, how, do you, how do you do that without it, with it looking so good? It that must be off the record, right? Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yes. I, uh, it was much shorter uh, a few weeks ago. I was almost crew cut. Uh, it's grown a little bit since, but that's the only way. Well, Manuel, we I, think, I think we should accept the report as it is. Okay. There were two reports. One was the audited financial statements for fiscal year uh, 2019, which is the okay. calendar year 2019. And the other document was the uh, the tax returns also prepared and then electronically uh, and then filed by the um, accounting uh, company that we use, uh, GTL. So we have a motion to uh, ratify both and we're looking for a second. I'll second. Thank you, Lee. We have a motion and a second. Are there any questions or comments on uh, those statements and tax returns? Job well done. Well, yeah. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, there has been extraordinary work done by both Stacy and Manuel, yeah. almost to well, the point of it being a full-time job. How they do it, I don't know, but... Um, uh, neither one of them uh, would uh, give me an agenda item to have them recognized. So we should recognize them ourselves. They've done an extraordinary job during very trying times while they're also trying to do other stuff. So thank you very, very much for everything you guys have done. Thank you, Stacey. Um, thank you, one Manuel. of the things I want to show you, and because I'm not really comfortable sharing my screen, I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to change my background because I want you to see what uh, is in storage now at uh, Stacy's house. house. Yeah. Let's see here. Let's do it right like there. Oh, here. So we'll move me over here. All right. Can you guys see the handsome young man with the mask on? Mm hmm. Those are our Palisade bid masks. Those have been delivered on schedule. Stay Here oh, it is. Look at that. We have a much, a much more attractive. Uh, well, I don't know about uh, that. 
<laughs> probably more scary. But and anyway, I have a, about 10 boxes. I have 10 boxes in my garage ready to. And if you would just show everybody the sides of those, they're completely adjustable, completely washable. Uh, our goal is to give every employee, uh, that's beautiful, thank you. Every employee of restaurants, uh, cafes, uh, bakeries, coffee houses, whatever, uh, give them each uh, three um, to help facilitate a quicker opening. And then whatever we have left, we will also then distribute to other businesses. Our goal is not to give them to the quote unquote man or woman on the street. They need to be focused within the district as we all know. So um, um, what was I gonna say? So that, that is, uh, that I wanted you all to be able to, to see that and, um, and know that Everything's done, everything's waiting, everything's put on hold, unfortunately, uh, until we really have a better idea of, uh, of how we're going to progress. Uh, but those are there. And then uh, lastly, uh, and this is what I was hoping uh, Marco could join us for. I'm just gonna go through the list again, but I do not see Marco on the line, is to give you a very brief update of our renewal. Uh, because of COVID-19, the city council made, and, I, uh, and whenever CD11 can, uh, I, I would love to have CD11 weigh in. Uh, I see they're still muted and I've tried to unmute them, but I'd love to have CD11 weigh in and unmute themselves. The renewal process had to be done all over again. Because of COVID-11, city council uh, and their staff had decided that even though everything had taken place before, they don't have the ability to count them. And so instead they wanted us to restart the process. What does that mean to all of you? It means to all of you, especially, even though it seems like you're getting a redundant uh, mail, uh, please sign them and send them back to uh, LA as quickly as possible. If you have any questions at all, please let us know and we'll have uh, Marco answer those questions uh, very, very succinctly. Okay, but for our board members especially, it is very, very important for us to uh, get those uh, in as soon as possible. And now I will turn things over to Grace from Chrysalis. Hi hey everyone, um, I hope you all are doing uh, as well uh, and healthy as possible in this time. Um, I haven't gotten to be in one of these meetings in a while, so for those who aren't familiar, I am the um, Director of Operations for the Street Maintenance Program at Chrysalis. Um, we um, have been out um, in uh, every day, uh, every Monday and Friday, every day that we're scheduled to, um, with everything that's going on. Um, as you might know we did have some um, uh, decreased staffing um, over the uh, since COVID-19 uh, really uh, hit us because of the, the change in the metro um, and um, the uh, inability for us to carry to bring our staff with us all in one vehicle while maintaining social distancing, which is really the, the biggest issue. Um, but uh, we have an individual who has sorted out his, he's been working really hard to come back. Um, and so he sorted out some uh, uh, ability to get to and from work. So he started again with us. So we're back to our uh, supervisor and a um, additional employee. So you will see a bit of a decrease on, um, like you did on your April invoice. You'll see that also on your May invoice, but hopefully we're getting uh, some more individuals back uh, from our Santa Monica office who are able to, to get there uh, more easily. Um, um, I think uh, as for, there were there were some notes that came in in the last day or so about some cans that didn't get taken care of fully on Monday. Uh, just to report out, we had um, one of our operations supervisors um, who's a step above the supervisor level. Uh, they were out there this morning, uh, spent about two and a half hours, went through the whole district and changed cans, any that weren't, that hadn't been done on Monday um, or that were just about halfway full. We didn't want them to wait again till Friday. Um, that's free of charge because of the issue that happened on the, the lack of uh, every can getting hit on Monday. Um, and, and in addition, he had a couple of curb lines he wanted to jump on. So 
there's a little bit of cleaning out there this morning. Um, lastly, um, I had just sent a note that Oscar Enriquez, who has been your loyal supervisor um, since we have, uh, have been out here with the bid, um, he unfortunately due to personal reasons is unable to continue in his role. Um, he wanted me to send the utmost thanks and appreciation for you all. Um, and he's loved, loved, loved being in the Palisades. You should hear him bragging to the rest of the teams um, that he gets to be out by the water and out in the Palisades. Um, so we now have uh, someone named Terrence Hunter. He has been with us for over three years on our team. He is a rover. So he was a rover supervisor, meaning that he was trained to cover almost all of our 15 business improvement districts. Um, so he's a man of many talents and he is going to be taking over the Palisades crew um, uh, officially. Um, he was not there on Monday, so I don't want that to instill any confusion. Um, he, he is there other days, but um, he, uh, he was not there this Monday uh, due to a personal day off. But um, so he'll be out there. I sent a photo um, to, to Stacy and Rick um, so you guys can, can see him and say hi. Um, I can, you guys can pass that along. Uh, and he just wanted to say thank you. He's covered for Oscar in the past uh, when Oscar was on vacation and um, is just really excited to, to have, have this crew in this neighborhood. So he wanted to make sure that I could say that. I couldn't get him on today, but hopefully in a future board meeting, we can get him um, on, to introduce himself. Thank you very, very much. And uh, um, so that should answer the question about uh, baskets. Uh, of course, just bas uh, trash in the districts, which is, mm -hmm. Uh, what we have, uh, I also answered one of the emails, uh, probably incorrectly. When I read the way the email was written, I thought they were looking for us to replace the receptacle itself. Mm. Um, oh, and that's, okay. something, that's something that we, uh, we would not have the wherewithal, uh, yes. to do. Um, I'll, re I'll point, reply to the email to the, from the city and tell, give the report that Grace gave us just now that it's perfect. done. It's perfectly, and, you know, while, while I would say that there may be a time uh, where we might want to add receptacles in the district, uh, we don't have the funds to have a, a maintenance and, and replacement or something like that. Uh, so thank you very, very much, Grace. Are Rick? there any questions uh, for Grace? Susan? Yes, Grace, yes. since we are, we'll be considering adding new trash cans could we get a recommendation from Chrysalis about which ones hold up the best, which ones are the easiest to empty, that sort of thing? Maybe a couple of photographs Absolutely. of what you all prefer before Absolutely. we jump in. Yep. We, we uh, currently work with about probably five to six um, different versions of cans throughout the city. Um, and uh, there are definitely pros and cons to a lot of them. So I'm happy to put that up for you guys and get that to you. When would, Thank you, you. When would you want that by? I don't know the timeline you guys are- I would say anywhere from 30 to 45 days would be fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll, we'll get right. that. Um, and and do, you, do you have access for providing them at a reasonable price? There are times we've been able to get discounts in the past. A lot of times though, um, we work our city connections to, to do so when we're buying in bulk. And so what we'll try to do is, um, since we are the clean team vendor for so many bids in Los Angeles, we reach out to our other, um, other partners and see if anyone else is looking to, so we can kind of get them in bulk, which often will bring the price down. Um, so we have been able to do that in the past. It's not 100% guaranteed, but we have been able to, to play around with it. So. Happy to look into that and see if we can, if what we can do for you all. Thank you, Grace. Absolutely. You, Grace. Other questions for Grace? Or, yes, sir, Manuel. Uh, Grace, uh, have you received the, uh, a copy of the request for proposal for services um, that include uh, enhanced cleaning as well as uh, decorations and things for the district? Absolutely. I'm all, we are working on our response. We know it's due next week. So we're already working on our response and are, happy, are going to be happy to send it in a, at least a day or so early. So you guys have plenty of time to, to jump on it. We, we would love, I mean, I know this is not, we would love to be a part, to continue being part of the community. I was really excited to see the increased services, um, both because of course that means more opportunities for potential, you know, work with us and labor, but um, I just think it's a really nice uh, thing to, be able to provide a bid to be able to provide, you know, more, any more services as possible. 
Um, and I think it does fit obviously within the maintenance world to do such things. So, um, Oh, Oh dear. What happened? I, I think Leland just got a phone call. No, I got it. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Went away. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Other questions uh, for Grace right now. Okay. Uh, hearing none, uh, we will open things up for new business. Okay. Hearing no request for new business, I want to just let everybody know that while originally we were on an every other month schedule, we're actually so far have met more often than that. Um, and uh, while I can't tell you that I anticipate that we will always meet more often than that, it is safe to say that we are likely to meet uh, one more time in June. Uh, and I would say hopefully we will have a reason to meet in June to update everybody on the plans for opening up the uh, Palisades and distributing the masks. I also want to say one other thing that's very important, even though, uh, and I'm, I'm going to single out uh, Caruso because it's the only one I'm aware of right now, even though Caruso is one of our, uh, one of our larger contributors to the district, they will not be receiving any masks from us as they don't receive much service from us. And the reasons is number one, they're gonna have their own branded masks and uh, we have made it our business in all the districts to focus on the businesses that may be slowed down in opening because they cannot get the masks quick enough or they can't get enough of the mm -hmm. masks for all their employees. So I'm just raising that so that you're all aware. Um, so when you go into, when we're finally able to go out and about and we walk into any of our favorite restaurants, that might be one of the places we don't get to see anybody wearing one of our masks. Uh, we wanna make sure we take care of all the businesses on the periphery uh, first and foremost. And so as we get information, we will provide that information to you based upon the governor's uh, changes or adjustments or relaxations in uh, Brown Act notification. Uh, we're going to do our very best. There are situations, uh, especially when we are not having a regular meeting where we're allowed to have as little as a 24 hour notice. And uh, so with that, um, uh, we will let you know uh, as, as expeditiously as we can moving forward. I have, uh, I have just been given the 10 minute notice from uh, Zoom, but I also see that Lisa Cahill is joining us. And so, uh, Lisa, if you can hear us, um, I see that you are connected in audio. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. I'm sorry I'm late. I was having some significant technical issues. All right. Well, um, <laughs> I, I hate to put you on the spot, but you have a whole five to six minutes, and then we're going to be automatically disconnected by Zoom. So if we are disconnected sooner rather than later, I'm going to say that we will be adjourning our meeting when Lisa is completed. Take it away, Lisa. Uh, Rick, can I uh, ask one thing before Lisa gets started? I'm so sorry, Lisa. How many masks did we get? 5,000. Why are we giving three? Can't we give out 10 to each per uh, uh, group? Uh, uh, I mean, that'd be it's, 500. It's, it's, it's uh, really simple. Businesses. We can we can give out a lot more. That's that's. But to give three to each employee, to start lets us know where we stand after they're out. That's all. I'm that sorry. doesn't mean three that that's employee. That's... I did not catch that. I thought it was three per employer. No, or three no, no, it's three per employee. And then when we Thank know you. where we stand, we will Thank bring you. them more. Wonderful. Okay, Lisa. Um, okay, so I, again, apologies. And really, the report is that our office is here for you guys. So I really just need to, um, you know, these are certainly unprecedented times to say the least. So I just really need to know from you guys what um, our office can do to best support you. 
Well, I'll weigh in very quickly uh, with two points. First of all, uh, to continue doing as quickly and as focused as what you have been doing would be beneficial. I will also say that because I work in so many different areas, there has probably been no council office more responsive and taking uh, area concerns more seriously than, uh, than council member uh, Bonin's. And so thank you for that. Anyone else? I agree, Lisa, thank you. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a pleasure to support you guys in any way that we can. Um, I know that we're short on time, so if there are things that you're hearing from other members or um, other folks in the area, just go ahead and feel free to send those over to me and I will happily do everything I can for them, okay? Thank you very much, Lisa. Thank you. Uh, any other questions for Lisa or comments? Hearing none, thank you all for your time. Please uh, stay safe. And uh, Stacy and I and, uh, and Manuel will update you as we hear. Manuel's got a, a great ear on the street as does uh, Stacy. And if any of you hear anything that you'd like us to check out, we'd appreciate you telling us. Uh, with that, thanks again. And I will notify you, I would anticipate that the latest we're gonna meet is uh, in July, but likely we will be hopefully meeting before the end of June to let everybody know that we are moving forward with an, a reopening process. Uh, Rick? Yes, ma'am. When you, when you hear that Caruso is taking the boards down on your complex, would you let us know, please? I will let you know when I see them coming down. Uh, it's kind of a mixture. Whatever we're taking down, I'll let you know right away. Uh, whenever we find out one of our tenants is taking something down, I'll let you know as well. I would say that the next 48 hours is going to be a critical turning point. Yeah. Right, okay, thank you very much. Thank you all very much for your help. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, bye -bye. Thank you very much.